There's a strong history of Roman Catholicism in Ireland, all the way from St. Patrick. And, and uh, many of you have grown up, you were christened, you were baptized, you took your first communion. You, took, uh, you, you even have a rosary around your neck, or some of you have it on your desk. And on your bad moments, uh, you might say the Hail Mary. You might pray the Our Father. I want to share with you a few thoughts from the very uh, Catholic Bible, the very Holy Bible, that unfortunately sometimes and very often people don't read. And this is what I've noticed in my many years of preaching on streets that people don't like to read. But there is no excuse when it comes to knowing the truth about what God has to say because we are in the day of technology where even if you can't read, you can listen. You can go on YouTube and play the Bible to hear what it has to say. And it's very important. If you'd listen to anybody else, you might as well listen to God's Word. You might as well listen to what the Bible has to say and make up your mind. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Come on, give her a big hand. This is my special friend right here. Amen. Well, the Word of God says, and many, how many of you have heard of the Ten Commandments? Put up your hand. Just put up your hand if you heard the Ten Commandments. Okay. Most of us, even sometimes myself, I, I, I mix up, might miss one or miss, might miss two. You know, if you grow up in certain churches, especially when you see a lot of statues, one of the major commandments that a lot of people forget is commandment number two. How many of you can tell me what commandment number two is in the Ten Commandments? Anybody? What was that? Don't bow down to statues. Okay, so somebody said it. He said, don't bow down to statues. Now, I just want you to be honest with me. If you're from Ireland, if you're from Ireland, you can tell me. I'm, I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada, you can tell. North America, so you can say I'm American. But if you grew up in the Roman Catholic Church, I want you to be honest. Have you ever seen anybody bow down to a statue? Put up your hand. Okay, you're Irish, you said it. I didn't accuse falsely, you said it. So now we have the testimony. We have somebody saying the second commandment talks about that. Let's hear what the second commandment from the Bible has to say about that. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 20 verses four, and everybody knows the 10 commandments. It says, you shall not make unto you any graven image, any image that is graved, anything that you put together, you shall not make it, or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven, okay, or in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, and you shall not bow yourself to these images. Now, this is, this is very specific. God is saying, I don't want you to make these images, number one. I don't want you to make any images of the angels in heaven, God in heaven, Jesus in heaven. And I definitely, number three, don't want you to bow to any of these images, any of these statues. I don't want you to. This is the second commandment, not from the street preacher, but from God, God's word, the Holy Bible. Don't bow down to them. And it doesn't stop there. It says, don't serve them either. Now, the interesting thing about a lot of these statues, when we start to, when we see these uh, Catholic priests and these Roman Catholic churches and all these people putting up statues and idols in their homes and in their churches, we have to ask ourselves an honest question. Was that really Jesus? Is that really Mother Mary, the Virgin Mary? Is that really Joseph? In that statue, in that picture, did they have Polaroid in AD uh, uh, 10? Did they have uh, digital photos that they shared on the internet? Did they make a painting? Even a painting, did they make a painting of Jesus? Did they make a painting of Mary? Did they make a painting that we can go back to in the first century and say, yes, the disciples of Jesus made that painting of Jesus and this is really Jesus. There's one thing that people point to is a shroud of Turin. One thing they point to is this, this, this uh, image that happened to be on this shroud and, and they say that this was one of Jesus' garments. Now it's debatable whether or not this was really Jesus, but nonetheless, 
Whether it was Jesus or not, God already said, I don't want you to make any images. I don't want you to bow to any images. I definitely don't want you to serve these images. It's not right. Why? God sees it as a sin. He says, I'm a jealous God, and I visit the iniquity, the sins, upon the fathers of the, uh, of the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. God sees anybody that's making images, idols, putting them up in your home, wearing them around your necks, putting them on your car. God sees it as if you hate him. Very interesting. God sees any Roman Catholic priest, any Catholic that makes an idol, puts it up in your home, according to Exodus chapter 20, he sees that as hatred towards God. Very harsh, isn't it? So why do people do it? Well, it's the same reason why so many of you call yourselves Catholics, but you do nothing Catholic. You do nothing according to the Bible. You don't even go to church anymore. You don't even, you don't even follow what the Pope says. I met a man yesterday, two men. One of them said he was a Roman Catholic, but he was gay. And he was married to another man. And he said to me, well, the priest that I uh, talked to, he says, live out your life, it's okay. And I asked him, I said, well, does your Pope support your homosexuality? Does he support your marriage? And he said, well, you know, initially he was assuming that he did. So I pulled up on a website that Pope Francis will not bless same-sex unions. He will not. So the question that I have for the Roman Catholics that are supporting something that's not Roman Catholic is why does your Pope not even support what you're supporting? Why does your church not even endorse the things that you're endorsing? And why do people live in ways claiming to have God but they do things opposite to God? What is this all about? I'm going to tell you something. It's the same reason why some churches have gone astray from God's word. We always want to adapt things for our own purposes so that we end up making God serve us rather us serving God. We want God to worship us, bow down to us, do what we want to do rather doing what God wants to do. And that is the opposite of how we worship. We are not required or we are not the ones that should receive worship. We should be giving worship to God. We are not created, uh, God didn't create us to be worshiped. We were created from, by God for him to be worshiped. We're supposed to live out the words of God, the will of God, because God made us. So the second commandment says don't make any graven images. Don't bow to them. Don't serve them. Don't worship them. It's hatred towards God when you do it. So if you got a cross on your neck with a statue, an image, a person of Jesus Christ, number one, that wasn't Jesus, and number two, it's hatred towards God. It's violating the second commandment of the Bible.